Um, so before the video uh, starts, I wanted to throw this in there and I rarely do stuff like this because usually when I make my videos, I, uh, it's a, like a one take thing. I rarely do any edits. So I wanted to put this in here at the beginning. Uh, FYI, just to let you know, this video is going to run a little bit long. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can scroll to uh, pretty much the end. That's where the winners are picked um, to find out if you have won. Um, but if you would like to hear what I have to say, uh, that would be fantabulous um, and totally awesome sauce. And it would mean a lot to me. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Help me get to 1,100 subscribers so I can do another giveaway. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, so, again, like I said, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't want to watch the whole video. Because it this one is quite a bit longer because I needed to vent about something. Um, if you are just interested in hearing who the winners are. You can go ahead and scroll to almost the end and i that is where i put the winner uh winners because there are two um i think that's about it and uh, i um may do another video later on today because i have a get together with my family uh so we'll see how that goes um so th i think that's it so i will talk to you guys later and uh yeah bye everybody it is nicole again and as promised i uh closed the um the giveaway uh that i posted the other day i think it was on thursday uh, i said that it was going to be a quick turnaround um and so if um you so there's going to be two winners and uh so the first prize pack i believe had um the the amigurumi and um what was it i think i both of them had the amigurumi the pom-pom kits one had um, a cake of the blue uh, Cotton Kings, and then um, the other had, I believe it was, um, let me double check because my brain is um, having a brain fart. One second, I will be right back. Okay, so I went back in because I've already boxed it up. It's ready to go. All I need is to pick the winners. Um, it, uh, whoever the winners are, if you could please get me your information um, as soon as possible so that I can hopefully send it out today. Um, and so it is currently 12.24 my time. And ideally, if um, you can, you know, send it to me. Um, I will give you until Monday uh, to give me your information because um, my youngest is going to go and have a sleepover with uh, his best friend before we move. So I'll be able to uh, swing by the post office. So if I do not get a response by uh, Monday, uh, all the yarn is going to be put back into my stash and no uh, new wonder will be um, will be redrawn so the sooner you get back to me the sooner i can ship it out because it's all ready to go all i need to do is i'll um write a little uh handwritten note like i always try to do and then seal it up and off it goes um so um things are going along and also the other thing is i wanted to do a little shout out to uh, Donna or Melfina's Magic um, who had offered to buy some of my stash I uh, thank you very much because um, even with the mystery boxes and all of that I still had a lot of yarn and so she offered to purchase some of my stash so that will help me out a lot 
Um, so I'm hoping uh, to hear back from her uh, as far as that goes. Um, I'm in the process of uh, going through what I've already vacuum sealed and then uh, putting together uh, a, a bag of yarn for her from my personal stash. So anyway, um, as far as the price prices go, so one prize was uh, it had the uh, Amigurumi um, set and then each of, so each of them had different amigurumi sets they each had the diy pom-poms and then one had the cotton king cake um with ice yarn and then the other one had the cascade yarn plus um uh, the denim colored uh yarn so again like i said uh each so Sorry, I'm just having a tough time. So I am um, going to be drawing for uh, each winner and then um, I will let you know which is which so you know what each person is going to be get, uh, getting. Um, it's just, it's been, it's been a lot. Um, I have managed to um, 99 or 98 percent clear out uh, my kitchen um, the refrigerator and freezer is pretty much empty my pantry is pretty much empty um, I'm hoping to today to get through the master bedroom at least the closets to uh, take a look at a you know boxes and whatnot containers and stuff to figure out what I, you know, to keep, what to toss, um, and stuff like that. So there's certain things in there that um, I may be able to donate. And then, um, what else? Uh, and then, of course, I still need to go through the rest of my resin items. Um, I need to go through, um, the stuff in my living room and then the bathroom. And then that's pretty much all that there is to it. Today is the last day um, for my husband at work. And so, um, and then today is the going away party with my family, um, which unfortunately kind of cuts into uh, the moving time stuff. Uh, while I do appreciate the, you know, going away party, it's like, you know, yes, I understand why they're doing it. Yes, I do love them dearly. Yes, all of that stuff and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it's kind of like, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking there's other things that I could be doing, uh, with that time, uh, I don't know I, maybe I'm just being selfish with my time and saying that I could be using it to be doing something a little bit more productive like packing I don't know that's just me uh, and it's hard because my husband has his schedule this week it has been where he's been working late he's been working till 8 o'clock and so um, he hasn't been able to help much as far as packing goes and so uh, there is, there has been little time for him to be able to do much of anything to help me out as far as that goes. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, there, it, I'm just so much and just insane. Cause even, so tomorrow, I'm going out to dinner with my mom and it's just gonna be me and my family and so earlier in the day I'm you know my husband and I and the rest you know my kids and stuff will be able to do more packing then and so I'll have an extra pair of hands um, with uh, my husband around to be able to pack and then obviously take things that need to be donated so um, and then 
it, um, then it'll be, it's not, Monday and Tuesday is pretty much the last of the days that we will have time to pack stuff. So I'm hoping that's enough time to get the remaining items. And so, and then the other thing too, I just encountered, which kind of made, not kind of, it really made me angry is, is that I called uh, Spectrum my internet service to cancel the internet service effective the 28th um and i've already gone ahead and set up uh, the stoppage of my gas and the electricity and uh, you know gave them my forwarding address and the other thing is is i don't know if you guys know this but now the post office charges to have you do uh, mail forwarding. Well, it's not a whole lot of money. They do charge you. It's a dollar and ten cents. And I tried to do it on the computer, but it said that I did not give them quote unquote enough information for them to verify uh, who I am. So I have to actually go to the post office with this email that they sent me that has a barcode and then they have to scan it to say, yeah, okay, you are who you are so that they can have my mail forwarded along with the rest of my family. So I have to go and run and do that. Um, and then on Monday, I have to call um, the company that will be moving our vehicles, set up that appointment as well. Um, so while there isn't a, like collectively there's not a whole lot of stuff left to do i still kind of feel overwhelmed so i don't know i think i'm just irritated because with spectrum because i just got off the phone with spectrum to stop service effective the 28th and they told me that okay so because i'm having it stopped on the 28th and my billing cycle does not end until I think it's the he said either the fifth or the sixth of August, they don't prorate um the bill. So I just I just paid my internet service bill. And I'm sure those of you know internet service is not cheap. Um regardless of what speed you may have. Okay. So I you know canceled my internet service and he said that they don't prorate internet service. So even though I paid my bill, um, I will not get any money back, none, zero, zilch. And essentially what he said is, is that Spectrum does not prorate bills. That's their policy. Um, and so um, from the 29th until the 6th of August, um, they essentially got what I think of as free money, uh, from me for a service that I will no longer have, um, because we will be staying with my mom from the 26th, um, and because on the uh, so on the 26th at 11 o'clock is when the fumigators are going to come by and it's going to take like a half an hour to like spray the unit down for fleas and ticks and then um, on the 27th is when the cleaner is going to come in and it says on there it's going to take about four hours to clean clean our units um, along with shampooing they better shampoo because I made sure on the phone call uh, when I set up the appointment that it would include shampooing. I was told yes, so they better do it. If they don't, I will be exceedingly upset. Um, and so anyway, the point is, is that um, they will not, absolutely will not prorate, refund or anything of the money of the bill that I just paid on the 19th uh, for the internet service that I got from them. And unfortunately, Spectrum is not available um, in the area that I will be living. So we'll have to find a new internet provider. And so I am, 
I'm I'm angry. I'm really angry. And I tried every which way from Sunday to try to uh, see if there was a way for me to get that, you know, however many days, what is that, like eight, nine days back as a refund? I was told uh, absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely, positively no. Um, but they made sure to tell me to return the equipment that I have. Otherwise, I will be charged, I think he said, um, like $275 uh, for the modem. Just uh, the modem. I have like a Wi-Fi extender, um, which I will be bringing with us. But because um, that's ours, I paid for it. Um, but as far as the modem, I was told, um, who's the person that's going to be returning the uh, modem? And I had already said, and, and this is the thing, okay, I used to be in customer service. And yes, I know I realized this is turning into kind of a rant and I need to do this. Um, so I apologize. I will draw for the winner. Um, so um, I am so upset because being in customer service, this guy sounded so disinterested with anything I had to say, nor did he offer any solutions whatsoever in order to ensure that as a customer, that I was pleased with the experience that I had um, and interaction with their company. And I did tell him that as somebody, you know, who as a consumer, if uh, with us as a family, if you treat us well, if you provide us great customer service, you try to rectify problems to the best of your ability, um, you know, not that I'm asking for stuff for free, but to empathize or to uh, offer some sort of solution um, or anything like that um, makes a big difference you know, in the long term, because as you well know, um, businesses also rely on word of mouth. And as someone who used to work in retail and also who used to work in a call center and customer service, um, word of mouth is a big deal. And it only takes one bad experience that will cause a customer to then tell somebody that they know don't use this such and such company because of XYZ thing that they did. That was a horrible experience, right? And then um, then it may then turn into, okay, well, you know, say I tell my friend and my friend will say, well, that was just horrible. I can't believe they did that. Then that person may decide, well, I'm not gonna use them because my friend said that this is how they treat their customers. And then they will then tell, um, like say two people and then so on and so on and so on. Um, and so, uh, working in customer service, um, in the past when I did work in, you know, in retail and in customer service, when I was working in insurance, I worked on the phones as a business analyst and I dealt with agents and I dealt with underwriters and I dealt with a lot of agents and I also dealt with customers, actually, you know, the people who held policies with the company. Um, and no matter how angry the customer or the agent was, it was always keep calm and try to look at um, everything from their point of view, right? And to try to um, put the fire out by empathizing with them and saying, you know, yes, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. Uh, what can we do to make this okay? Uh, what can we do to make this better? Um, I will see what I can do to make it so that number one, you stay with us as a customer. Two, that the word of mouth, uh, as far as the bad experience, doesn't go out to the masses. That instead, the word of mouth would be a positive experience that, hey, did you know that I spoke to so-and-so, me, on the phone, and even though I called and I was so angry because um, I didn't get my, um, my policy on time, the person that I spoke to, aka me, um, made me feel like 
this was the most like I was the only customer in the thousands and thousands of customers that the company has and she made me feel like um, a special person and she made me feel like um, she would do as much as she possibly could to fix the problem as soon as possible. The person I spoke to today did none of that yeah. and I hate that. I hate when I get um, customer service people who when they speak to you, it's like this. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm calling from Spectrum. Please be advised that this call may be recorded for training purposes. How can I help you? Who am I speaking to? No, you don't do that. I'm sorry, you don't. We were always taught that when you speak to somebody, you speak to them um, with a smile on your face. Like physically, you are smiling um, when you're speaking to that person. Because when you smile um, while you're on the phone, like you know, you have a smile on your face, big, big, huge smile. That that actual smile will then convey through the phone. It does. Trust me. Um, and. So this person was the, hi, my name is Joe. I, um, or how can I help you? Um, please be advised. This phone call may be recorded for training purposes. May I ask who I am speaking to? And I said, this is Nicole Mitchell and I'm, I need to cancel my service unless uh, Spectrum has um, services in Oklahoma where if, the, if that's the case, then I would instead like to set up service um, in Oklahoma so that when we get there, my internet service will be ready to go, okay? So he says, okay, Hold on one second while I check. So he puts me on hold. He didn't ask me if he could put me on hold. That's one thing. Always ask, is it okay if I put you on hold while I check on, um, you know, whatever it is. He should have said, um, I'm going to go ahead and check to see whether or not um, we have um, service available in the area that um, you're looking for. He didn't ask me where I was moving to, okay? He didn't ask me. Um, and so he put me on hold and then came back maybe about five minutes later. Number one, you don't put somebody on hold for that long. Um, I was always told you shouldn't put anybody on hold for any more than maybe a minute or two. Um, you come back and you tell them, I'm sorry that it's taking me so long, um, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm just um, checking on um, whether or not we have services available in the area that you will be moving to, but I haven't forgotten about you. I will be checking back with you. Just give me a few more moments and I will get back to you, okay? so. And um, so, it, and then is it okay if I put you back on hold? Didn't get any of that either. Also, still haven't asked me where I'm going to be moving to. And so, um, I, um, I'm sitting there on the other end, like kind of chuckling to myself because I'm like, dude, you haven't even asked me where I'm moving to, right? Um, so then another couple of minutes co go by and he comes back and he's like, um, can you tell me what address or where you're going to be moving to? And I said, well, this is the address that I'm going to be moving to. And um, he said, okay, I will be right back. Still no, is it okay for me to put you on hold? Um, so he put me on hold for a whole 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes to figure out whether or not um, Spectrum had service available in Oklahoma and um, you know whether it's through Spectrum or sometimes they have subsidiaries under a different company name 
Um, cause like T-Mobile, which is the uh, service that I have for cell phone, um, has towers, uh, that are under different companies. Um, it's, you know, like, like say Mint, uh, or, uh, Consumer Cellular. They have towers that are owned like by AT&T or Verizon or, um, T-Mobile. Um, and it's just, uh, and so that is how you can sometimes get services in smaller uh, smaller areas. So anyway, um, he comes back and says, um, I checked to see where uh, you will be moving to and there is no service available in that area. So I will be canceling your service effective and then silence. And I had already told him the date that I wanted the, it canceled, okay? I told him the date, which will be the 28th, because I wasn't sure whether or not, um, like, you know, if we go back, after, obviously we have to be there when the place gets cleaned and we have to be there when it gets fumigated because paperwork and all of that stuff. And so I wanted to make sure that there was internet available in case it's needed. So, uh, and then, so once the place is cleaned, I am going to then take said equipment and then take it to um, Spectrum's uh, retail stores. And I'm going to speak to somebody there. One, to complain, and two, to see if there's a way for me to get um, a refund for uh, that period of time that I will have lost. Um, because I asked for a supervisor or a manager and he said uh, that they do not have managers or supervisors uh, available at the call center, which is a whole lot of BS because we, um, when I was in a call center, um, not as an insurance person, but way, 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 way back when uh, there was a company called MCI, for those of you who may not uh, know that like you had to use that like you had to have a long distance plan in order to call long distance um that you know it wasn't a cell phone you could call like iowa and it it's not you wouldn't get charged extra to call iowa and you had to have you know a uh, long distance plan in order to do said thing um so anyway um I said, well, what do you, and then he says that, um, he said that the services will be shut off midnight on the 28th. Um, and if there was anything else I needed, I said, so, um, can you tell me how much I will be getting back for my, uh, for, you know, the time the service is ended and when the billing, new billing cycle starts. And he said, I would be getting nothing back. And I said, well, what do you mean I would be nothing back? I said, there's going to be a period of time where there, like, there's, there's not going to be anybody here in the unit. So I would have to be getting a refund, right? And he said, no, Spectrum doesn't do that. We do not probate. We do not do any of that stuff. Um, what you paid for um, is what you paid for, and we do not prorate, we do not give refunds, um, and there, there are no exceptions except for the state of New York. So I'm like, are you sure about that? Can I please speak to a supervisor? Because I, you know, I wanted to make sure because he sounded so enthused about the fact that he was there on a Saturday. And so, um, I went and then he said, um, I apologize, but they, we do not have supervisors or managers on the floor. So there is nobody to speak to. And I'm like, really? So like your boss is not there. You don't have a supervisor or manager or something, uh, shift supervisor, um, you know, a higher up other than you as a regular employee on the floor, like when you can take your break, when you can take your lunch, all that stuff. 
um, there's nobody there that I can talk to so that I can get a better explanation because the way you're explaining it to me doesn't make any sense. Because he told me that if um, I were to cancel a monthly service and the example he gave me was um, like if I were to cancel my cable, um, my cable service would not give me a refund. They would not prorate it. And I said, well, that's not true because I have DirecTV and I recently added stars to my channel lineup because of Outlander. Um, I love Outlander. I, that's something that I recently found, but that's beside the point. So I signed up for Outlander and it was during the middle of the billing cycle. And so I did not get charged the full amount of said um, addition. I only got charged for part of it which was like a couple of bucks. And he said, well, um, that can't be right because that's not how it's usually done. With When you do monthly subscriptions for anything, nobody prorates, nobody um, only charges you partial for services. I said, no, that's not right. I said, I said, the. The other example I can give you is my rent on my um, my apartment. I told my property management company that I will be moving out on the 28th. And so they calculated it and my rent is less than what my normal rent would be. And he's like, well, that's not right. Um, Cause he said that it's a monthly service. So they shouldn't be charging you only part of what um, you owe. I said, no, I think you're confused because that's not how it's done. Um, and he said, um, so I asked him, I said, so say instead if I had called on, since my billing cycle starts on the 5th, I said, so say I called on the 4th of July, okay? um would you guys and then say i want to cancel my service effective the 28th would i then have gotten a uh, prorated um amount for my bill because it wouldn't be the entire you know whole month and he said no that i would have still been charged the same amount and i said well that doesn't sound right I said, can I, can you please find somebody on the floor that I can speak to so that I can get this explained better to me? Because that doesn't make any sense. Because why would you charge me for the whole month when I'm not using your service for the whole month? And he said, there isn't anything to explain. You just don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. And I said, well, what you're using as a, as examples doesn't make any sense because it truly doesn't make any sense. Um, because I'm not using it for the whole entire time. So thus, um, I should be receiving a refund. Or if I had called in earlier, I would have gotten a prorated amount. And he said, no, I wouldn't have. I would have still had to pay the full amount. And he said, well... Um, is there somebody that can move in to this my apartment and stay here until the end of the billing cycle um, so that they can use the internet so that I wouldn't lose out on that amount of time? So from the 29th through like the 5th or the 6th. And I said, no. I said, I have to, my family and I have to vacate the unit and so, um, you know, the management company has to come in and do whatever they need to do on their end so that it is ready for the next tenant that is going to be moving in. Um, and he said, well, um, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And I don't know about you guys, but, um, this is the other thing that I run into, which drives me absolutely insane, is when I go to, like, like the, like the perfect example is is when I go to Home Depot or Lowe's, and I, there's nothing against either one of those companies. What whenever I go there alone, 
and I ask for help and I'm looking for something specific um like for example the flapper on my toilet had broken this was like a while ago a long time ago and i knew i needed a specific part for my toilet in order to fix it and i knew how to fix it it was something that was super easy i just couldn't find the part okay so i went searching everywhere and i swear to god like nobody worked i was uh at a home depot and i swear like there was like nobody there i like where are all the employees right i'm like roaming aisle after aisle trying to look for an employee so i could figure out where the part was because i couldn't find it i was not about to be roaming home depot for 45 minutes for one part and so finally after 20 minutes i found somebody to help me to tell me where the the part was and so the person that I spoke to, I said, you know, I need the part, uh, this specific part so that I can fix my toilet. And the person that I spoke to, um, and you know, this is not a knock on any man at all, none, because this is not specific to men in general. It was just this person. Um, he said to me, well, are you sure that that's the part you need? And I said, yes, I'm sure that that's the part I need because I brought the part with me. And I said, this, this here is the part that I need. Um, so I said, I needed to make sure that I bought the right one. And if there was like a universal one um, or I needed to buy a specific one, but I know, yes, that this is what I need. Um, because I brought it with me to make sure that I get the right one, okay? And he says, are you sure? Are you positive? Because, you know, um, sometimes people aren't really positive that that's the right part that they need. Um, I said, well, can you just show me where it is so they can get it and buy it? And he's like, well, let me look at it and let me make sure that this is the right part. And are you sure that it came from the toilet? Okay, dude, yes. I pulled it out of the toilet with my hand. Okay, yes, I'm sure. Um, and so I said, yes, I'm sure. I pulled the piece out of the toilet myself. I lifted the lid off of the back of the toilet because I heard it snap. I took it out and put it in a bag, you know, a Ziploc bag to make sure that I got the right part. Well, let, let me just make sure. Let me just make, let's just make sure that you're getting the right one. I'm like, dude, I just need the part. Okay, it doesn't have to be expensive because I know they aren't expensive. I just want the part. I want one that is obviously quality, but I don't, I'm not going to spend like 20 bucks on it because I knew that that's not how much they are. Oh my God, it just, it was so patronizing. I, like, if you were with me and like saw me, you could probably see the steam coming out of my ears because I was so upset. I hate that. Um, they do that to me when I'm at auto parts store as well. Like if I need, um like a new air filter um so what i've resorted to as far as air filters go uh, for my car is i buy them off amazon instead because i um i believe you can do the air filters on uh subscribe and save um so that's what i do i also do do that for fil air filters for like your heating and air conditioning units because yeah i'm not doing that um I've got and I've gotten that same treatment when I've gone to auto parts store looking for oil. I've uh, gotten that same uh, experience when I'm looking for washer fluid for my car. Um, here in Hawaii, not many people use washer fluid. They just use water. You take the hose or you take it, uh, fill up like a big jug um, of water and you put it in your reservoir uh, in your car. Uh, because 
yeah that that's how i do it maybe um other local people from hawaii uh, use washer fluid i don't i just use tap water um because there's uh i don't feel that it's necessary to spend the extra money for washer fluid because um you know i don't deal with snow so i don't need something to help uh, de-ice uh, my uh, windshield so anyway huh! okay i got that out uh i apologize for the rant um but i really needed to get that out um because i was extremely upset and it bugged me to be treated in such a manner um but uh, word of mouth will get out there to say that um, this is how Spectrum treats their customers. Like, I'm a dumb idiot. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I'm dumb or an idiot. Um, I think I have a pretty good grasp of how certain things work. So, uh, with that being said, um, um, yeah. I don't think that's uh, um, so I, I I apologize for um for the rant and the complaining and stuff it's just it's just so frustrating um and uh, it, later on I will be uh, tackling the closets and then uh, then we will be heading over to my mom's place uh, we're gonna have turkey. Yes, I know weird, right? Um, because my cousin who works for Costco, she has she had an extra turkey uh, that they uh, they give their employees at like Thanksgiving and Christmas time. Apologize for the noise. Um, I'm in my bedroom filming, um, but uh, so they give their employees. Uh, I think it's free turkeys. Um, at Costco so they had extra so my mom said that they're gonna smoke the turkey in uh, those green the uh, green egg that, um, I don't know if you guys have heard uh, those uh, the green eggs so um, it's my grandpa's so it's really old this was like before green eggs were like all the rage um, and then we're gonna be having uh, hand rolls um, so make your own hand rolls um and then uh, my mom wants us to bring uh, chinese noodles so i'm gonna be picking up chinese noodles from my favorite chinese restaurant and then my mom is going to be ordering um this yummy delicious lemon crunch cake uh from uh, diamond it's diamond head bakery so so good oh my gosh Frosting is super light, and then on the outside and the sides, they put, um, I don't, and the, the words slips my mind, but it's like, I don't know if you've ever heard of the uh, candy called Violet Crumble, but it's, um, so it's like honeycomb candy, so they make it, only it's lemon flavored. It is so good. So, um, so yeah, so we're getting that and then everybody, it's cause it's potluck, so everybody's gonna be bringing, you know, whatever. So, and then there will be poke. It's not pokey, it's poke. Um, and I'm gonna have to learn how to make poke when we get to Oklahoma, because y'all know that um, my family are gonna be missing that. Uh, so, yeah, um, so, we're gonna go ahead and get to drawing because I'm sure you're probably sick and tired of hearing me complain and we're already 40 minutes in and so um, hopefully you have stuck around for this uh, much. I appreciate you guys listening to me. So um, hold on one second. I will be right back while I pull up everything um, for the prices. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Uh, Okay, Whew. Okay. so the first prize that I will be drawing for, like I said, uh, is what I showed first, which is the prize pack that included the blue uh, Hobie cake along with the ice yarn. And uh, the second prize 
that I will be drawing for is the one that had the Cascade Hank in it. And so, oh, and then the other thing is, is I in, included a darn good yarn enamel pin as well. Um, you can do with it what you want, give it away, keep it if you love to uh, collect pins. Um, it's a, uh, purple, uh, pin with a heart. So that would be included as well. So I went ahead and, and, uh, if you can see here, I went ahead and loaded the URL. There are 33 comments in it. And if you remember correctly, the keyword uh, was WISE, W-I-S-E, and it needed to be done in a sentence. Um, so, um, first winner, and I apologize, this is like really not like the best way, but I can only do what I can do because certain things have already gotten put away. So. Uh, first prize winner for the Hobie Cake Pack is uh, Tracy L. Thompson Huber. She put as her message, Hey, my new friend. Oh, welcome to the Ohana. Um, hey, my new friend. Yes, I'm new to your channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, I love it when I get new members. Um, one can have, uh, never have too many members, uh, join my family. So, um, your message to people was very wise, wise and informative. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, I am disabled with several chronic illnesses. I'm so sorry. I know it's really tough as somebody who deals with that as well. I also suffer from depression, bipolar, anxiety, and panic attacks. I am on medication and I am not embarrassed by this as no one should be. Yes, 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 yes. Good for you. Um, I am on medica um, and uh, I am very thankful to have the help that I have and I'm very happy to have found your channel. Thank you, that means a lot. Um, please pay no attention to re re uh, rude people. They don't, they just don't understand people like us. No, they don't. Um, if they would just stop and listen or ask questions, it helps. Um, I look forward to watching many more of your content as a creator. I crochet and have been for 30 plus years. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, however, I just picked it back up full time about four years ago um, and fantastic to you thank you for all that you are doing xo and there's a heart and a smiley face congratulations uh tracy if you could please uh send me uh your information via um my email address and it will be in the description box like i do with all of my uh, videos it's sachiko uh, S A C H I K O 7896 at gmail.com, and I will go ahead and uh, send that out to you. Um, if you can get that to me ASAP, uh, preferably today, so that I can ship it out. Um, but uh, Monday will work as well, and um, I can take care of that, and out it will go. All right, so um, we're gonna pick. Uh, winner number two, that's the one that has the Cascade Hank. Um, so here we go. Um, it has now changed if you, oh, there it goes. I have my phone propped up on my phone, so I apologize. Um, okay. So if you can see here, the, uh, uh, comment, uh, count is, change to 32 uh, because we've eliminated her and uh, we are going to pick the second winner oh yay um it the winner is deborah richardson uh and here we go again sorry i am so sorry i'm such a hot mess
Anyway, so it's Deborah Richardson. Congratulations, Deborah. And she says, Hey, Nicole, it's good to see you looking a bit uh, less stressed. <laughs> um, and I'm glad to hear that things seem, things seem to be falling in line for you and your family. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, this was a very informative video, and I'm glad you talked uh, more in depth about struggles and seeking help. I'm glad that uh, you thought that this was helpful. I really do. And I really want to do more of these. And I will be doing more of these. Um, and they will be longer um, for those of you out there. Um, so, uh, you know, I will not be offended if uh, it is too long for you. Um, if it's not for you, I have no problem with you clicking off and watching just as long as you promise you would watch my other videos. That's the only thing I ask. Um, let's see. It amazes me how people can be so rude when hiding behind the electronic screen. And you are correct. They would not say these things to your face. This is entirely true. Because I guarantee you there is nobody that would come to me to my face and say the things that they have said. And be like this you are you sound like you're on drugs blah 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 okay good luck because i tell you what you will get an earful from me um a wise man said my dad who sounds like a very wise man once told me that if you can't say something nice don't say anything at all and i totally agree with that um I absolutely love your giveaways. Thank you. I'm glad you like my giveaways. I love doing giveaways for you guys. Um, and hope that I am blessed with one of them. And you are. Um, and uh, sorry, I have a Google phone. Wishing you the very best, my friend. And please consider more videos before you move. I think they benefit you as uh, much as us, if not more. Well, I will definitely think about that. Maybe I'll do another one um, when I go to my party uh, today uh, and kind of uh, show you uh, like my, my mom's new house and um, kind of give you a glimpse of my family. Um, so yes, um, I know this video is long, apologize. Um, so, I am so happy. Congratulations to both of the winners. Again, uh, Deborah, if you could send me your information, although I may have your information, but send me it anyway uh, to Sachiko, S A C H I K O 7896 at gmail.com. That will be in the, um, the description box below. Uh, as I always do and then I will ship them out. They're all boxed up and ready to go and um, So once I hear from both of you off they will go and then I will uh... You guys never know you'll see maybe you'll see my face later on today. Okay, so um, until my next video adios